Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture or you may have heard about Chalk Couture but you're not currently working with the designer because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met your eyes are blue. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. Hope you all are having an awesome morning already. I have already been up since 6.30, so I'm ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and let's chit chat about Club Couture. As you heard, Club Couture is the hottest DIY home decor subscription service out there. It's $19.99 plus tax in the US, $26.99 plus tax in Canada, and it ships to you free every single month. You'll receive an exclusive size B transfer, just like the one seen on your screen, which is our May 2020 Club Couture, and three coordinating chalk paste singles. Now, Normally, when you sign up for Club Couture, as soon as you go ahead and say, I want to sign up for Club Couture, which if you sign up in May of 2020, it actually begins in June of 2020. Um, after you add in your cart, you'll typically be prompted to add on our current month's Club Couture and the Kickstarter kit. Here's the thing. We sold out of the Love Conquers All, our May Club Couture, so you won't be able to add that. But like I said, you will be able to add on our Kickstarter kit. And the Kickstarter kit is great because it comes with a 9x12 porcelain, steel, eight and magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, and a 5.5x7.5 palette frame. So here are some of the awesome perks of being a club member. Um, now, all of my customers receive flat rate shipping when you shop for my online store. In the U.S., you're going to see $6.95 flat rate shipping, and in Canada, you'll see $13.95 flat rate shipping. However, once you're a Club Couture customer, your flat rate shipping then goes to $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada. You also get access to private sales from Chalk Couture for Club Couture members exclusively. Now, this month is almost over. It actually ends tomorrow, and it's a pretty great one. It's called Last Chance Love. What it means is once you sign into my online store through your account, you'll go to the last chance section of my store. As long as you're logged in, you're going to see all of those transfers in the last chance section marked down to 50% off just for Club Couture customers. And a final bonus that you get is that you get to go into my private Club Couture group where I make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with your Club Couture transfer every single month. So it's really awesome and membership sure does have its privileges. So if you want to get these details, just comment club down below and I'll be sure to message them all over to you. 
Now, next thing I want to chat with you guys about is our awesome kit in a box, our our business in a box. It is awesome. This is what our new designer kit looks like. It's $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S., $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada. It's going to be valued at $250 in the U.S. and $350 in Canada. It comes with five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee and apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel Ada Magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, our gorgeous spring summer catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers. And you remember that Club Couture transfer that I said sold out in May? Guess what? We have enough for our new designer kits. So you're going to get that as well. Now, I know I just threw a whole lot of info at you. You might be saying, Jess, I love what you're saying, but I got some questions. No worries. Comment join down below and I'll send you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be a decision you're super happy with. Okay, while I'm finishing up getting these cameras all ready, Here's a little sum for my brand new friends who are new to learning all about Chalk Couture. Let's see. Hi, Dawn Marie. Hi, Lori Hamilton. Hi, Linda. Hi, Daquana. I hope I said your name correctly. Hi, Lisa Batten. Hi, Jen Ridge. Hi, Heather Kelly. How you doing? Hi, Maxine from Albuquerque. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Ride or Die. Hi, Melinda Thorne. Hi, Kathleen Henry. Hi, Diana McFadden. Hey, Sheila. Hi, Debbie Green. Hi, Monica Moss. Hi, Megan. No humidity day. That's awesome. Hi, Laura Christensen. Oops. Uh-oh. I just dropped the screw, and that's not going to be good because I will likely step on it. Where did it go? Black little screw on a black floor. Hold on, you guys. No bueno. Where is it? Oh, my gosh. Where did it go? That's going to be fun. I'll probably find that later on when I step on it. Great. We'll find another one. I'm not worried. Hey, Les. Hi, Laura. Donald, you don't see me because I usually go over my inter my stuff first. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Rebecca. Good morning, Mary Beth. Hi, Dion. Hi, Lori Robbins. Hi, Sherry and Darlene over on YouTube. Good morning, guys. So today we're going to be making a super fun project, but let's show our Ray down of the day because we're hustling. It's month end, so we're going to hustle. I've got... um. I think it's Starbucks Blonde Roast in my cup this morning. What do you guys have? Okay, so for real, of course, wouldn't be alive if I didn't have a reminder going off. Okay, so I wanted to see, I want to let you guys know, I think I fixed my Manny chat. Um, I have a bundle available, okay? Um, and it's a good one. If you watched my live yesterday, you'll know what I'm talking about. So if you comment box down below all of the details of this amazing bundle, will be shipped, will be sent to you. And you can choose whether or not you want to do it. Um, I do have limited quantities, okay, because it is a last chance transfer. Um, but if you were interested to hear all about the bundle, comment box down below. Um, and then that way, good morning, Christy Perez. Hi, Debbie. Um, hi, Laura Flora. How are you? Hi, Marie. Good morning, good morning. So yes, yeah, so if you guys, hi, Helen Wolf, want to hear the details of this awesome bundle that I have. You'll get a picture and all the details of what comes with it, the cost, and then even a link if you want to purchase it. Comment box down below. This is probably going to be the next bundle that I will offer, okay? Hi, Ann Leonard. Hi, Kate Smith. Oh, good. You guys are coming. Hopefully it works right. I hope I did it right today. Um, I found out what I was doing wrong. So today we're going to make a fun project for my patio. Of course that would happen everything. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a domino effect, guys. <laughs> it's a domino effect. Hi, Kim Brownfield. How are you? There you go, you guys. All the details should be sent over. Just type in box. Hopefully it's coming over. Someone just let me know after you're done if it did work. Okay. So today we're going to make a sign for my back patio that's going to say patios are made for sipping, grilling, and chilling. And I got a bunch of these for a project for last year that we were going to do um, for the beer bottle to come off of it. What do, you, what do you call that? Bottle lid? The beer bottle lid? I don't know. Whatever it's called. Even soda. Some soda you have to crank the lid off. So we're going to do that today. 
Now, I'm going to be using the handwritten font to do it because, hello, it's my Ray Dunn font, okay? And that's my life. So we're going to do that. Um, good morning, Iris. Hi, guys. It worked awesome, Mary. Thank you for letting me know that. Sorry, on YouTube, it will not work. It doesn't, it doesn't coordinate with the comments there, so you have to be on Facebook to do it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, my letters out of here, okay? And we're going to come in. Yay! Awesome. I'm so glad it worked. Um, we're going to come in. A bottle opener. Thank you, Darlene. Uh, words evade me in the morning when I'm only one cup of coffee deep. So we're going to attempt this on my box frame. Oops, what did I do? Um, on my box frame here. All right. So I have to keep in mind where this needs to go because it needs a, a nice solid place. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably going to E6000 this because I don't trust the screws. I think they're going to come out. And I wanted to use the box frame because I like the dark rustic look of it. Um, and it's not very thick. And I was even considering like, oh, well, what if I put it in here? But I think it's going to, it's not going to go right. I, I don't know how to describe it. So we're going to get some E6000 on this puppy along with probably some hot glue to make sure it stays. And we're just going to keep it to set for a little bit. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's do this. So we got to keep this here so we can at least spell it out. So I wanted to say patios are made for, and then I want sipping, grilling, chilling. So hopefully I'm going to have enough room to do this. So let me plan out my, I'm going to use placement tape. You guys know how I feel about my placement tape. I love it. Super helpful. Oh, Iris, I have a bundle available. So if you comment the word box, it'll message all of the details over to you. How to get it, what comes with it, what the cost is, and how to pay for it. Everything is there. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get this lined up. I think because of how, um, does that look straight? Yeah, it looks straight. I think because of how big the letters are, I might have to start a little higher. And I'm hope yeah, see, that's a little too high. So we got to pull it down a little bit. And I'm just using the lines to help make sure that it's correct. Oh, that's perfect placement. That's great. Okay. So I'm going to keep that one there and I am going to rip my tape off. Usually you guys know I'll just pull it down and reuse it, but I need to make sure that it will work properly. And I'm going to put some more tape up at the top so that way I can use my little markers, my little um, registration marks to be able to tape. Okay, so that's good placement. Patios, I wanted to say like patios are made for, and I can do maybe sipping, grilling, sipping, grilling, and chilling. So that way there's enough room because remember, I got to have it around here. Okay, patios are made for sipping, grilling, chilling. All right, let's hope that works. I'm just going to take, ow, patios are, let's just take a letter and just make sure we left enough room. Got to go down a little bit more. So how's everybody doing today? Is everybody good? Yes, that's good placement. Just want to say, like I said, placement. You know what we might have to do? Patios are for sipping, grilling, and chilling. I think is what I'm going to have to do because it's too big. The letters are a little too big to be able to leave all the room that we need. And, you know, we're working with individual letters. Right? So if we do patios are for, we'll take the M away. Patios are for sipping, grilling, and chilling. That should be good. That's what I think we're going to do. All right, so let's move it up a little bit so we can see what we're going to do here. So... I'm thinking I'm going to, I want to see if I just start, I feel like I'm going to have to start like way over. Let me just look and see how big these letters look. I don't, I can never tell how wide. Okay. 
Here's the tea. Right? Isn't it cute, Mary Beth? That's what I thought. Would Brian, maybe Brian can put a little support strip of wood across the back side where the top screw would screw in. Oh, Darlene, you're sweet. Bran, <laughs> I love my husband. He is so talented with so many things, but that man cannot even screw in a screw. Not at all. God love him. I'm just trying to eye up around where it would be to make sure that I, I start at the right spot. That's all. Patios. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put that all on. Patios. Let's just guesstimate. Let's just guesstimate. So we could put the A. We, can, we don't have to leave a big space. R. Like I said, I just want to get kind of sort of a placement because there will be an A there, R, and let's see if we can make four come up. I might have to start over a little bit more with the P, but as long as I know that it's all going to fit, I'm okay. We'll make pretend with the Q. Yeah, I think if I start with the P over, I got it. We got this, guys. Yay! Okay, so I'm just going to leave some of these things on. Let's move the letters over. And we're going to, because I, I sort of planned this out now. Oh, yeah, I left a whole lot of space in the beginning. No wonder it wasn't looking like it was fitting. I'm going to start legit right at the corner. Okay. So... If you've never used our letters, our fonts before, the fonts come with registration marks at the top. Let me show you. Okay. Can you guys see them at the top? Those two half circles. That's how you can line up your letters properly. Okay. So we're going to use that to our benefit here. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Susan. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Can you turn the board horizontal? Hmm. It's not a bad idea. I kind of planned it to be this way. Because I have a little itty bitty bucket that I was going to hope to put underneath here too to catch the bottle caps. I could, I definitely could have turned it horizontal. It's all right. We just figured it all out this way. But that was a good call, Vicky. Hi, Charlene. Rectangular board work better. It probably would, but I know the space that I have. I have to be specific with the space. The letter R and the number four. Yeah, I could do that. I totally could. <laughs> Darlene, you're like, ooh. So yeah, anybody that is new to joining right now, if you are interested in hearing about the bundle that I have available today, it is not this project. It's my project from yesterday. Comment box down below and you will get a little message that says all of the details all about um, all of the details about it. Okay. Um, how to order, what it's included, what's included in it, the cost, all the good stuff. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's do this. I'm ready. I'm, I'm talking way too much. Okay. In my defense, though, I did have to figure it all out. Do I know if our ink can go on leather? I heard it can, Diana, but I am not sure. Oh, hi, Bill. How are you? Good morning, Vicki. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get this going. Now, we're going to do it on the placement tape which is why we put it down so that way we can line up our area. I can't tell if that's, oh no, I'm like totally going against something that doesn't even belong there. So P, oops, don't peel off. K, 
Okay, so we got our P. Just gonna put it off to the side. Quick dry it. And you see how I have my registration, oops. I don't know if you can see, but I have my registration marks that I can see clear as day. So it will be not hard to line it up. All right, what I do with the A? Patios. So what I'm gonna do, I actually have to pull this down because I am too short <laughs> to see. So let's do that. Okay. And you guys should be able to see it too as if I pull it down. Okay, so I'm gonna line up my half circle. And I know when I line up the half circle, I am actually even doing not only proper placement, but I'm making sure that it's nice and straight and even. And once you get it set up, it's so easy to just keep on going. The setup that I just did was the absolute hardest part, I promise you. Now, because I don't plan to wash these letters in between, I'm going to make sure I really get them off well. Okay. I know I'm going to have to reuse the A at some point. Yeah, the R. See how it made the little circle up there? Hold on, I'm going to show you guys. Can you see that? How it created the little circle once I put it on? See how easy it is to use the fonts? And see how like helpful the placement tape is? Okay, so I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to line up my, my semicircle. Which is right, looks like it's right there. Oops. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure that I always put my chalk right over that circle. So that way I can keep on going. See, check that out. See how easy it is? But dry. Move on to the next letter. P A T. We can't see it. Hold on. Sorry, you're gonna see my big head in the way for a sec here. Easy peasy. This would make for an awesome Father's Day gift, you guys. Heck, even a Mother's Day gift. I'm going to sit on the patio and drink, whether it's my coffee or a nice adult beverage. Doesn't matter. I can't see. Hold on, you guys. I'm really having some difficulty because I'm way too short. Let's go this way instead. There it is. Where's this? I was going to say what I do with my squeegee. And now that I'm looking at this, I obviously did not space correctly because I think I'm going to have a lot of space left. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see for sure. I cannot even see through that one. Let's go upside down. Looks like Jess did not do a very good job of cleaning this one off. That is for sure. Oh, yeah, 
I did not I did not initially clean this transfer very well. I have like black paste or something stuck in it. Hold on. That's all right. You can make out that it's a mess. And you know what I will probably even do? I will probably use my chalk marker to write over that. Because I'm going to seal this anyway. It's going to be outside. So we have patios. All right. So we might be able to get made. Our made for in this. Yikes. Or I could just leave a lot of room. A R E. I don't, actually am not even. I'm not even worrying about the space. It's fine. It's going to be so fine. I'm not even worried. I'm just excited to get this going. Use it today. So they came back and did our fire pit. They literally had it done in like 45 minutes. I seriously hope they're coming back because they have yet to do the ivy, though. Oops. Hold on. Now, patios are... I wonder if I don't have to dry in between. Let's see if I just... Oh, no, I don't, I don't trust myself. you like the bundle what did you, what what is you do made on the right on the center r what what if you do made on the right then center r uh, i think i may have missed the boat to do that <laughs> can you wax scrapbook paper before you lay on the transfer yes vicky you can good morning steph hi kimmy keller I now see the point of the tape. Yes, Charlene, the tape is awesome. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kim. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Patty. You can place last letter of the last word on the end, then center of the words between. Totally could have done that, Vicki. Absolutely. I totally could have. And now anybody else can. Since I goofed and went a little too far. Perfection. It's a little crooked there, but it doesn't matter because it looks good. Patios are four. And it's okay if they're not, if it's not centered. I'm really okay with it. Like, if it's not perfect, guess what? It's totally fine. I'm okay with it. Oh, that F looks good. Okay. Oh. Rebecca, I couldn't type because I was on my phone and it froze, so I couldn't even say hello, but I was there. 
You're welcome, Vicky. Love watching your lives. Keeps happening. You need to go with them still in their tricks. Oh, thanks, Vicky. You're cute. Hi, Carol Aldridge. Good morning. Okay. Let's keep on going. Let me see where my... Okay. Ooh, dried up a little. Hold on. Just rub a little water. That's all you got to do to wet up the moisten the choke paste a little. It's because it might have dried in the. Um, oh, I had a little bit of a bleed from doing that, but that's okay because you know what? Let me get it off. It's no biggie. Um, hold on. Okay, don't worry. There we go. See, we caught it. We're fine. We're fine. It's so fine. Okay. Okay, and let's grab that R. Someone's here. I don't know who it is. I can't exactly see the, oh, I got to pull it down a little. I can't exactly see where my semicircle is because it didn't come through, but it looks pretty level there. Or okay. I'm okay with it. Just know that. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So here's the thing. Do I have any dots? Yeah, we do. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do two half circles from our exclamation point. We're going to go like this. Watch. Ooh, I got to be careful. One. Oops, that is definitely not cooled off enough. There it goes. Got one. Oh, that's a sticky bugger. I never used it. Apparently, I never used the exclamation point. Hi, Glinda. Don't you forget the word. Uh-oh, what word? Oh, it's okay. We're just going to go with patios or four. Oh, <laughs> you're funny, Rebecca. I totally could have done it that way. Yes, I could have done that too. All right, so let's see where I put this puppy. So let's just move down to about there. We're going to do the same thing. That looks pretty even to me. <gasps> yeah, it does. Patios are four. Okay, now we got to come back to our S, which I probably need to clean. Let's clean this guy off real quick because Jess did not do a good job cleaning him last time. Let's get this and these and spray. Where's my board eraser? I left whatever the heck I used. I don't know if I did black chalk paste. I don't even know when, when the last time was that I made with, created with this. But I left it all up inside the screen. I hope it wasn't ink, because if it's ink, it is not going to... Oh, no, whatever it was is coming off. It must have been chalk paste, and it's just pretty rock solid on there right now. There it goes. Oh, now we're good. Now we are so good. Fantastic. All right, let's dry them. <gasps> Whoa. Let's dry our S, because we need it. And we're gonna, I'm going to just replace it back over that S real quick to watch. Good morning, Cheryl. Carol, we're doing good, thanks. We are doing so good. Okay, let's just put this back over our S here. Watch, just like so.
See, we fixed it. Perfect. Patios are four. And I, you know what? If none of this is lined up anyway correctly, so let's just continue on with our plate here, shall we? I'm going to just go with it. Our made for sipping. I have way too much paste on there. Okay. Gosh, look, when you have a nice clean S, what happens? <laughs> Where's the I? Did I use the I already? I did. No. Where is it? I did. Here it is. Okay. Oh, that's going to be next to impossible to see, but you know what? I can't, I can't entirely make it out, but I can see through the transfer. I am way off. I think I'm lined up there. That looks pretty good. I think. Yep. Okay, we're good. So let's keep on going. And I put way too much paste on, so it's really got to come off. So I can keep on going without having to stop and clean. PP. Uh, and I should. There it goes. That looks like it's going to work. Hold on, you guys, I gotta get this wet up here because it's not going through. Oh, I just flung paste. There it goes. S I P P. Gotta come back to our I. I N. It's gonna take a little bit, but I'm telling you, you guys, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Oh, I know it's gonna be worth it. Hold on. Need to clean the tip of my eye here because you know what? I am not even able to see through it anymore. And I'm going to need to use the eye a few more times. Okay, let's dry it up real quick. Thanks, Rebecca. Good morning, Mary Jane. How are you, MJ? 
Yay, Cheryl. I know. I Today, it's according to a, um, the weather app on my phone, it's crystal clear, which I am so excited about. It's a little hard to see. I'm only going to go with it right about here. It's a little too far over. I think we're good right there. We're going with it. And then we'll have a new little semicircle to work with and be able to see now that we cleared it. Much better. Okay, so we got sipping. I probably should do like the apostrophe too. I think that'll be perfect. go and now I can see so that's so good oh, looks great sipping we gotta put our little apostrophe there And a comma. And we're gonna use we're gonna use this the exclamation point. And we're gonna use it for an exclamation point, a comma, an apostrophe. We're gonna use it for everything. So we got sipping. Oops, comma. Just trying. Oh, I keep putting my chalk piece on. I think that's a good placement. Ha <laughs> ha! Sipping. The grilling. Where's the G? I'm going to move over a little bit since I had such big spaces up, up, up. Oh God, that's way too much paste. Jess, what are you doing? Look at that G. Perfect. And we don't even have to use that again. G. R. How's our R looking? Mm, it needs to be cleaned. It needs it. The semicircles are the part that I need. The registration marks. And when they are all cloudy, can't work. My L's are probably going to get that way because grilling, chilling, both of them next are going to be used and that's four L's. So we're probably going to have to do something about that. Hi, Terry. Hi, Sherry. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Kathleen. I try. Hi, Kim Castleberry. How are you? I try to share because Lord knows I make, I make a mistake every time I go live. Every single time. That is obviously still not clear if I can't see through it. Oh, no, we just had an avalanche of transfers. Bummer. Now we're going to be able to see. Don't fall in. Oh, my gosh. All my little letters are falling off. Get over here. Get over here. Why do I have these out?
Okay, oh, there it goes. It helps when you're sort of close to it, huh? Okay, gotta move this over a little bit now. There it goes. Why do you? There it goes. Perfection. Hold on. All of my little letters that were hanging off. There it goes. We'll just stick them like this. G R. Oh, they got stuck together. Okay. G R I. Do we have an ampersand on here? Isn't that what you call it? Yes. Oh, yes, we do. Shoot. The eye itself is clear. It's just these were not. Hold on. A little bit more. So much better. Looks to be correct. Hopefully it is. Oopsie. There it goes. Okay. G R I L L I N. Cool thing is, is doing it on the wood is really helping to make my paste dry like super quick. It's a little too high. It's the right spot. It's a little too high to make. I don't know. Okay. Way too much paste. That's okay. We'll get it off. <gasps> Winging chalk paste everywhere, you guys. Everywhere. All right, I need a spell checker for me. Is Grillen, G-R-I-L-L-E-N or I-N? Ooh, I don't know. How do you spell Grillen? Someone help while well, I have a sip of coffee real quick and dry. I feel like it would be I-N, but I'm not 100% sure. Say hi, Heidi. Hi, Terry. It's an I. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Heidi. I thought it was, but I wanted to be sure. I wanted to be sure.
Okay. Now we need that N. What'd I do with it? There it is. Oh, I'm so excited. We're almost done. And it's going to look so good. We're going to have to clean the L-L-I-N for sure because it's getting cloudy and I can't see through it. Which is no problem. You saw how quick I'm... It's not the way I care to clean, but it can be done. Okay, so we've got that. And let's get the ampersand done too. This is way crooked, I think, for me moving it down. Way crooked. So much better let's see if this will fit so we got an ampersand and we got to do our apostrophe and comma is this going to fit in here oh yes it sure is that would be good if it was there it goes all right so let's do our little apostrophe i gotta clean that um yeah i'm gonna clean it because i don't think i'm gonna be able to make it work So glad I don't have my camera stand on the table anymore. When I'm doing this, you guys would be probably throwing up because <laughs> it's shaking everything. I love that my camera's now mounted on the ceiling, my camera holder, my Archon. Okay, let's get this stride. Oops. Yes, for sure, I N. Got it. Hi, Nikki Morris. Hi, Lori. Grandma's gone crafting. What font is this? She missed the beginning. Grandma's gone crafting. It is handwritten font. Hi, Amy Grossman. Hello, hello. All right, so let's do our makeshift apostrophe and our little, you know what? We're going we're gonna to clean our squeegee real quick because it's getting clumpy. Yes, I could go to another squeegee, but then that means it's more for me to clean. And I hate cleaning squeegees. They're the worst. I don't know why I loathe cleaning my squeegees. Like, I, if I don't do them as soon as I'm done, they build up. And then I'm so angry when I'm cleaning 30 squeegees at once. <laughs> All right, so let's come back. Let's get this little area done. Grill in. Comma. That's way too far over. That looks pretty good. We're going with it. Perfecto. Okay. So we've got patios are for sipping, grilling, and chilling. So we're going to clean our letters real quick after we do the ampersand. Oh, I love it. All right, so what are we doing? Sipping, grilling, and so I need a C. Do I have a C out already? C, nope. And we don't have an H. Oh, awesome. We could do C-H, and then we could do the rest. Okay, let's get these going, and then I'll clean. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to mount our bottle opener onto it. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I know it took a little bit, but I'm seriously telling you it is going to be so worth it. All right. So the C we don't need, the S we don't need, the G we don't need. So L-L-I-N is all we need. So these letters can go to the side and will be cleaned with everyone else.
So the I L L I N. Okay, let's clean them really quickly. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. So cute. I hope Brand loves it. Whoa. Turn them over so we can get the half, um, the, I keep saying half circles. They're not half circles. They are registration marks. Okay. Sorry for the noise. I know it's like nails on a chalkboard. I get it. It's pretty rotten. Okay. Let's get these guys dried. And then we'll do the H. And that way we can move right on along to um, finishing. Thanks, Sherry. This will likely be a bundle tomorrow. I have some I can do. Thanks, Mary Beth. Hi, Deb Burns. Hi, Heather. How are you? All right. So did I dry my C? Wouldn't that be a bummer if I got all the way this far and forgot to dry it and smudged it? Okay. Wow, when it is a nice clean letter, you can see right on through. You don't even really need the registration marks. Obviously, H is not a popular letter that I used because it's pristine. C-H. I... Oh, I need the eye again. What am I doing? Forgot how to spell, clearly. Gosh, it looks so good. Oh my God, I can't wait till I'm done. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. Okay. You just, oh, I don't want water. I need the eye in the end.
Okay, just need the end. The end. And we're done. Oh my goodness. And the apostrophe, of course. Do I have a period? We could just use probably the exclamation point again, I suppose. Um, oh, no, I do have a... Oh, man, I did have an exclamation point the whole time. I did not see it. So, you guys, you get an exclamation point in this. I just had it cut wrong. Did I? Oops. Did I try that? I cannot mess up this far along. Cannot make it happen. I'll be super sad. Hey, I'm hoping that it's lined up good. I think it is. And it was. Okay, let's get our little apostrophe. And ah, our little period. And it's done. I think I'm going to use. The dot from the question mark to make the little period, though, because that looks like it would be a period. The other ones, they resemble the, the commas and the exclamation and the um, and the apostrophes. That is now done. I have a pile of letters. So it's not the way you should do it, Jess, but we're going with it. That looks good right there. It looks great. Okay. Let's take our placement tape off. Oh, be careful because I just pulled some of the wood off. That was from me jabbing it with the box. I'm not worried. I don't care. It's fine. It's going to be outside anywho. You look a little distressed actually now. It looks so good. Is that crooked or is it because my board's crooked? There it goes. That's better. All right. So now let's get... I have E6000 glue somewhere. Where is it? Hold on. Because you will definitely... Oh, I know where it, I think it is. Hold on. Oh, get it in there. What is that? Hold on, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I know I got it. I've purchased it. Not a big one. Where is it? It's a little itty bitty guy. <clears throat> Hold on, you guys. I just gotta figure out where it is. We can do our gorilla glue, I'm sure. Maybe I will screw it in and use the gorilla glue, the hot and liquid gorilla glue. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's do it. Man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. Hold on. Let's get this out of the way so we can move up. Let's get this out of the way. we got to get our piece closed up. We got this, you guys. Okay. Oh, gosh. Hold on. I'm going to cause an avalanche again. I can see it coming. Don't do it. Okay. There it goes. We got that going. Let's get our paste closed up. I don't know 
whether I close it up. I know I have the E6000. That's going to drive me nuts. I literally just saw it. Where did I see it at, though? Don't know where it was. It's a little itty bitty tube. Bummer, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. No idea what I did with it. Dang. I'll find it as soon as I'm done the live. Watch. All right, so let's mark this. So we're going to put it right about here. So let me a pen mark. Actually, let's measure it. Let's measure it so it can be centered. It's a little hard to see it like blends right the heck in. So this winds up being, so it needs to be five and a quarter plus, wait, what? It's just about 10 and a half, not fully. So it's like five Like right here is the center. So we're going to go right like that. Okay, great. It's very hard to see the lines, I know. Um, but I can see them. All right, so let's get my little drill, my little handheld drill. Oh, God, that weighs a ton. Okay. Where are the pieces? A little bag with my drill bits. I think this drill will work. Okay, here's a fun fact. I don't know where my screwdriver is, though. Okay. So... guys it drills so easily so crazy hooray for fiskers hey i'm already through well didn't mean for that to happen oh wait why did that loosen up hold on what the hey hold on Maybe I didn't go far enough in. Maybe I didn't. I mean, oh wait, I think I know how. This has got to be. Oh my gosh, it keeps coming off. Hold on. And I went all the way through. My goodness. Well, that was not supposed to happen. I was only supposed to go a little ways through. Good thing we're doing hot glue, guys. I probably could have just easily have, this is why I wanted to use E6000, just so we all know, just so we're all clear. I'm literally just, just going to do a little bit. Why are you not staying on? What am I missing? That's all I want to do now. Okay, that'll be enough. All right, so we're going to shove some hot glue back into here. I'm going to make that happen. Because it's going to need something. Yeah, because you know what? It's going to have nothing to mount to. I could screw it in. Where's my, hold on, I gotta grab a screwdriver. One sec. Nothing like my little itty bitty tools to try to make this happen. These are about what I'm trusted with with Bran. Oh my gosh, it's not even gonna fit, is it? Yeah, it totally does. Okay. 
Where's the other little screw? Oh, that's right. I lost the screw. Big surprise. I dropped it on the ground. I'll never find it now. Okay. Now I got to, hold on. I got to drill a little bit more. I didn't, I think I was a little too afraid this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shove the E6 or the Gorilla Glue underneath it to make it stay in place. Because actually, maybe it is going to be in place pretty well. I don't know. There it goes. It's pretty much on there. Wow. All right, let's just add a little, let's just add a little glue around it so it does not move. And we'll do it on the bottom where you don't even see it. I just would have probably preferred. Oi. It's like I have to shove my head into this to see if I'm doing it right. And I'm just going to let it dry on here. Like, we obviously will not use it. Not right away. But do you see it? How cute is that? Oh, I love how it ended up. Do you guys like it? What do you guys think? Thanks, Sherry. Hi, Deborah Mae Jones. I know, Tracy. You guys totally do. Hi, Vicki Keller. Hi, Christy Lynn. Hi, Jess Hine. Hi, Kim Jensen. Hi, Jean. Awesome stuff. Nice, Jane. Hi, Nellie Steamy. Hi, Sage. You wiped it out yesterday, Tracy. Oh, my gosh. You're so funny. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Amy. So there we go. How fun is this? Patios are for sipping, grilling, and chilling. I feel like I need to add maybe, you know, it would be super cute to add the little fire. Oh, no, no. It's, is it a, wait, is it a fire pit? I think it is a little, a little fire pit thing. Um, on the Happy Camper Summer add-on, I think it is. I'm going to have to check that out to see. But look at how fun that was. You guys, I love it. It may have taken a little while, but I think it was worth it. Don't you? Here's my little tools. All right. So, um, hold on. Let me get this stuff out of the way and let me take my hot glue gun and unplug it because I don't want to forget. Um, so... Let's come back up to me. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Now, how do I un how do I loosen it? There it goes. Um, let me get my little thingies away while I'm talking to you guys. So, if you like this project um, and you want all the details about it, just let me know down below. I likely will offer a bundle on it tomorrow. Um, once I see, I'm gonna make sure that it holds up okay. Oh, please don't hit me in the face. That will not be good. There it goes. Um, likely we'll do it tomorrow, but I do have my bundle from yesterday. My, um, Uncle Sam gnome, porch gnome bundle. Just comment box down below. My bot will message you everything. We have already tested out. I know it works good. You can see it. You can see the price. You can see all that comes with it and you can opt to purchase it. So comment box down below. Um, for yesterday's Uncle Sam porch gnome. Um, today's project, I think, turned out pretty cute. I think Big Brand's going to like it. Um, I feel like it needs something here and here, so we'll figure something out. But hopefully this is, like, legit on and is not going to go anywhere. Um, it'll be outside, um, for us to enjoy. Um, everything is in stock in my online store that I used. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my project. If you would like to go into my VIP group and you are not a chalk couture designer, comment me down below. I'll message you that link. If you want the details on joining my team and you want to go into my opportunity group, comment join down below and I'll send you that link. And if you want the details on Club Couture, comment club down below and I'll send you all the details. But I hope you guys enjoyed my project today. Hope you're having your coffee. Hope you're doing your weekend hustle. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow afternoon. Remember, we can't do Sundays for a little bit, Sunday mornings, because it's a little crazy with, uh, trying to stream, but, um, I hope you will join me tomorrow. Okay. You guys hope you have a great day and I will talk to y'all later. Okay. Bye.